Hey guys, welcome to IGCSE Study Buddy, where you can revise chemistry topics from the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus. If you are enjoying our videos so far, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In this video, you are going to learn part 4 of topic 3, Stoichiometry. The mass of one mole of a substance is the molar mass or capital M. So, for an element, the molar mass is the same as the element's relative atomic mass. And in the case of a compound, the molar mass is the relative formula mass or relative molecular mass. Molar mass is expressed in grams per mole. The amount of substance is equal to mass divided by molar mass. We can use this relationship for various calculations. Let's do some calculations as examples. What is the mass of 0 0.75 moles of sulphur? So, we substitute the number of moles and the molar mass, in this case the relative atomic mass of sulphur, to the formula amount of substance equals to mass over molar mass. So, mass is equal to 0 0.75 multiplied by 32 because we make mass the subject of the formula by multiplying both sides by 32. This is equal to 24 grams of sulphur. Next example, how many moles are in 10.2 grams of calcium carbonate, CaCO3? In the previous example, we were asked to find the mass. In this example, we need to find the moles. In the previous example, since it was an element we were dealing with, the molar mass was the same as its relative atomic mass. In this example, we are calculating the number of moles in a compound, so the molar mass will be the relative molecular mass. So, we have to add up the atomic masses of all the atoms in calcium carbonate. Moles is equal to 10.2 divided by 40 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 because there are 3 oxygen atoms in CaCO3. The relative molecular mass is 100, so 10.2 divided by 100 is 0 0.102 moles. Another example, in 10 grams of methane, how many molecules are there and how many atoms are there? So in a question like this, the first step would be to find out how many moles are there in this mass of methane. Number of moles equals to 10 divided by 12 plus 1 times 4 since there are 4 hydrogen atoms. That will be 0 0.625 moles. We learn the Avogadro's constant, which is 1 mole of any substance, contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 particles. We just found that 10 grams of methane contains 0 0.625 moles. So, if 1 mole of CH4 has 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules, how many molecules, let's call it X, are there in 0 0.625 moles? So, let's do a simple cross multiplication. 1 times X is X equals 0 0.625 multiplied by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. That gives us 3.76 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. Now how do we find out how many atoms are there in CH4? 
one molecule of CH4 has five atoms because there's one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. We just found that there are 3.76 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of CH4. So how many atoms does this translate to? We simply multiply this by 5. That gives us 1.88 into 10 to the power 24 atoms. Moving on to calculating reacting masses. Here we determine the masses of reactants consumed and products formed in a chemical reaction. Example 1. Calculate the mass of calcium oxide CaO formed when 6 grams of calcium reacts with excess oxygen. This is the balanced equation. We are given the mass of calcium and we are asked to find the mass of calcium oxide produced. The mole ratio is 2 is to 2. Simplified, it becomes 1 is to 1. So we first find the number of moles in 6 grams of calcium. Applying the mole formula, we get 0 0.15 moles. The mole ratio of calcium to calcium oxide is 1 is to 1 according to the balanced equation. So that means 0 0.15 moles of calcium will produce 0 0.15 moles of calcium oxide. So, 0 0.15 moles of calcium oxide is substituted into the mole formula to find the mass of calcium oxide produced. The molar mass of CaO is 40 plus 16. The mass of calcium oxide produced is therefore 8.4 grams. Example 2 Calculate the mass of iron in kilograms that can be produced from 250 kilograms of iron 3 oxide. The balanced chemical equation for the reaction is 2 Fe2O3 to give 4 Fe and 3 O2. So here the mole ratio is for every 2 moles of iron 3 oxide, 4 moles of iron are produced. When you simplify, you get a ratio of 1 is to 2. Let's first find the number of moles of Fe2O3. Keep in mind that in the mole formula, the mass has to be in grams. So we convert 250 kilograms to grams which is 250,000 grams. The molar mass of Fe2O3 is 56 times 2 plus 16 times 3 because there are 2 atoms of iron and 3 atoms of oxygen in Fe2O3. The answer is 1,562.5 moles of iron 3 oxide. We multiply this by 2 to get the number of moles of iron produced, which is 3,125. Now, we substitute this number of moles into the mole formula to get 175,000 grams of iron. We convert this to kilograms because the question requires the answer to be given in kilograms. So, 175 kilograms of iron are produced. That concludes part 4 of topic 3, Stoichiometry. Are you enjoying our videos? Are they helping you? Here's a way you can show your appreciation and support our continued efforts. You may use YouTube Super Thanks to send us thanks. Hope this video helped you. Please share your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to IGCSE Study Buddy for more revision videos. Bye.